What's up guys, Digging Life here. Today, I'm eating crow, partially. I was told on this project here that the first heavy rain it would wash away. It's still here. But I was also told that I didn't put them deep enough and that water would run right under them. Crow doesn't taste so good, folks. There is a little bit of water running under them, or there was. I should have just taken, let's see, six more scoops of dirt with the excavator. And these would have been one to two feet deep. I kind of had a feeling, but I went with what I had. And the viewers out there who said they weren't deep enough, you got me this time. You really got me. But instead of digging these out, uh, I came back by to check on them. And sure enough, there was still a little trickle under them. Most of the water's going through the pipes. Uh, so I've decided to build a false creek bottom at the head wall. And it seems to be working pretty good. Check it out. It's called tube sand from Quick Creek. And it is very, very handy at stopping water. Doesn't look that great. But what I'm going to be able to do is line rocks all up ahead of them and here in the front a little bit and make it look really nice and pretty. <sighs> if I had followed my other gut feeling, I wouldn't be sweating in mid 90s weather. Moving rocks by hand and digging with my other excavator. This is the excavator I don't like to use, but it is effective. What I'm doing, now that I've got my tube sand in, I went upstream and gathered the surplus of creek sediment and sand and stuff. And amongst all these rocks here, Creek sand is going to naturally accumulate and it's going to clog everything and it's going to waterproof the walls that I've built. So I'm going to help speed things along and I'm going to shovel creek sand to this head wall. This proves to you guys that my channel is real. I can admit when something didn't work and at least together we can show how to fix something. Now, if I come back in a couple of weeks and there's still a trickle coming up under these pipes, you know what I'm going to have to do. So, thanks guys for always watching. Uh, I probably should have done a time lapse of this, but all you would have been able to see was a whole lot of time lapse of my hind end bent over, moving rocks, shoveling sediment, and carrying uh, 60 pound bags of sand. This is the result of that. So guys, when you're learning from YouTube, when somebody says you should have done this, there's a possibility they be right. So we love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you like seeing me humiliated and eat crow, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, I'm going to try to beat this thunderstorm. Thanks, guys. We love you. See you on the next one. And don't forget, tonight it's going to be live with Digging Life 21.